I just picked up the Ryobi hybrid soldering station. Hybrid means that it runs off of a battery or it can be plugged in here. So AC or battery. My first impressions of this are that it is pretty nice. So I really like this handle. The grippy two component handle on this, the weight on it is nice. Um, I have used it a little bit. Right now it's completely cooled off. So in the box you get, you get a cone tip, you get a flat tip, place here to hold four tips. And then they threw in a little bit of solder and a sponge. So the sponge goes in here and you put a little bit of water on that. Soak the sponge up. So it's got an adjustment dial that goes from 400 Fahrenheit to 900 Fahrenheit. And then you push the switch to turn it on and off. So we'll turn it all the way up to 900 Fahrenheit, put in a battery. So the battery I'm putting in here is a six amp hour. This is one of their new high output batteries. It's at a full charge. It does not use these high output connectors, if you, if you were wondering. So this, this P193 battery is 108 watt hours and this is a 45 watt soldering iron so if you round down the watt hours and you round up the watts to 50 you, you roughly two hours but this has a feature energy saving mode rotate to reheat so in the instructions, it says, after 10 minutes of operation, the unit will automatically enter an energy saving mode and the LED, this LED will slowly fade green. To exit this mode, rotate the control slightly in either direction. After 20 minutes of being in the energy saving mode, the unit will turn off. Okay, so we got the battery connected Let's turn this on. So we'll just time it. And there we go. That's about 45 seconds. So 45 seconds, the full temp. All right, so this has a grounding loop here. You can see it. So you put a ground strap there. You can put another ground strap for a wrist strap so that you can ground your wrist. If you're soldering something really sensitive, this is not really sensitive. Um, then you're completely grounded so that you're not gonna get electrostatic discharge while you're soldering. That's what that little metal loop right there is for. That is a grounding loop. Let's solder something. I soldered these wires together before. Let's strip those. I don't think anybody has any doubts that this is gonna solder nicely, but let's just check it. I'm just gonna do this quick, freestyle without using a helping hands. And that's got very good temperature. All right, so then we Clean the tip off, and that's it. So what is the temp? Let's get out the meter, somewhere around 482. Wow, that's pretty good. So we're showing over 500 Celsius. So I'm seeing almost 550 degrees Celsius there. I'm pretty impressed with this thing. So this was $80. And there's another one that does not have the dial, but does have dual range, 400, 900 Fahrenheit. 
and it's battery only and that one is 40 bucks it, when i went into my home depot they did not have them on an end cap they didn't have them with the tools and they didn't have them with the other soldering items and so i asked um hey this website shows you have these in stock it's new do you have any idea where these are and yep they knew where they were they were way up on an overstock rack and they explained that they are still making space for these it, it's out it's it's stocked um, it was in stock on the website also. Okay, we went into, so this is power save mode. So here's power save. Um, so what's, what's happening with the tip? So it's in power save mode. Temperature is still dropping. So you can see calculating the battery life is going to be very difficult because of how often do you take it out of this power saving mode. I want to leave it in power saving mode for just a little bit longer. Tip temperature is dropping below 200 now. So I believe it's turned it off. So then to kick it out of power saving mode, we just move the dial. It goes red. Now the green light stays solid green and our tip temperature should come up to 200. So that's the low end is around 300. So then powering it off, it will flash red until the tip gets completely cooled down. When the tip is finally cool enough to touch, and the light will go off. All right, so we've got this plugged in. Let's look at the watts. Watts are zero. Let's turn it. Let's turn it all the. Let's crank it all the way up. Eighty watts, seventy-seven watts. Watch that light. Seventy watts. So we can see that. Once it gets up to temp, it does run right around 30 watts. So that's the Ryobi P3100 hybrid soldering station. Pretty nice. I like it.